Hello ladies and gentlemen and a very warm welcome to you. My name is Alex of Small Cars Direct and I'm here to present this Toyota IQ to you here today and it's covered just 46,986 miles from you. It's a 2013 13 registered Toyota IQ 2 1 litre VVTI multi-drive so essentially automatic as you can see it's finished in the metallic burnt orange looks very nice and it sits on the anthracite high gloss 15 inch alloy wheels which are wrapped in tires which have bucket loads of tread remaining and it's my job to give you a full and transparent rundown of this vehicle's condition to give you guys at home the confidence to be able to purchase and have this vehicle delivered to your place of home or work or maybe just to give you the confidence to reserve it with a view to coming and seeing this car in person viewings are available here in New Milton Hampshire six days a week or maybe you're just an interested individual and you want to know more about the IQ what's it all about why is it so weird why did they stop making them in 2014 and what's it like to drive so let's kick off tell you a little bit more about the IQ I think it was actually in development by Toyota for near enough 10 years. I think uh, the designers were trying to knock their heads together and come up with the answer to the smart car. Um, I think, anyway. And uh, they came up with this. Fantastic. Loads more room in the cabin. Much more car-like than a smart car. That's probably the easiest way to put it. Got the bihalogen headlights nice and bright got the front fog lights as well fantastic turning circle nine airbags electrically adjustable and heated and folding door mirrors with indicators built in and let's just take a closer look at all of the wheels for you so you can appreciate their condition got a matching set of tires across all four corners and loads of tread left as I've already mentioned, front end looking remarkably clean considering this vehicle is going to be 10 years of age this year. That's probably the worst stone chip and obviously compare it against the size of my finger. It's actually quite small. That's the worst that you'll find on the front end then. Looking really, really good. Let's just take a quick scan down the near side. Insurance group in the UK is just 4 out of 50 really low insurance group so it should be dead easy to insure that door mirror casings looking really clean as well fantastic service history record we've even got a set of uh, what appear to be genuine wind deflectors fitted which is always nice to see fantastic history seven services for the little iq service at seven thousand twenty two thousand twenty nine thousand 35,000, 38,000, 41,000 and serviced at 45,445 miles. So hardly done any mileage since its most recent service. This wheel then, again, that's looking really clean in appearance. Privacy glass, as you can see, is fitted. And it's got an MOT that runs to January. 2024 key to century you can uh, just have the key upon you and you can lock the car just like that same for both front doors as well it gets you into the back now you don't get hardly any space you can obviously slip some bags down the side here no problem shopping bags uh, they'll fit in there as long as you haven't got too much packed in but if you're not carrying passengers in the back, normally what I do is I just fold these seats completely flat. And then that actually gives you a decent boot space. Obviously, you've got to take the headrests out. But Toyota have already thought about that because they've actually created a designated space for the headrests underneath the 
rear bench or you could just get the seat forward like that and it flops straight down and that actually gives you a decent amount of space back there but what i was saying is if you just lift this flap up it's got the secret compartment underneath there for the headrests to slot in perfectly so for those of you that are actually going to look at an iq and you think that the car doesn't have headrests you know they're missing or whatever and always, always check underneath here because the chances are they're probably hiding underneath that rear bench. Got Isofix points in the rear. You got a um, curtain airbag in the back there. You got another airbag here, another airbag here. So that's four on the front seats already. Knee airbags, that's six, seven. Um, and they've probably got one. Don't know if you've got one on the side here. We've obviously got one there, and you've also got one for the drivers. So, yeah, you've got nine airbags in total, which is amazing. Auto gearbox, dead easy to use. And you can expect to achieve anything up to what's the extra urban figure? 67. Anything up to 67 miles per gallon. Got the rubber carpet mats. So, that's actually quite handy in case you're going to get the floor dirty, wet, etc. So, nice, handy rubber mats on the front there. Just close that up. Got two keys, ULES compliant as well, which is great for those living in and around the London ULES zone. Scanning down the offside, you can see that it's looking again really fresh. Lots of reflections off the paintwork. I'll also like to show you the engine bay as well and the fuel flap to show you how clean it is in every orifice possible. There's the dormer, as I was alluding to earlier. Um, got the nice um, updated interior in this one because it's 2012 and newer. I think that's when they updated the interiors. It's looking nice and clean in here. No tears or stains. So you've got the audio controls all driven off this central button here, which is quite clever really. So you can just toggle left and right to scan up and down radio stations or CD track, up and down for the... Um, the volume and then you can scan between auxiliary radio and cd by pressing this mode button press and hold power and you'll turn the radio on and off the digital climate control then all driven off this center function here again same story for more fan you press that and then toggle up or down to change the mode face floor screen press mode and change the mode and temperature you press temperature then go up and down on the temps so it's all very clever just need one little central dial same for the audio and the fan system cd player slots in here nice and closet little hidden slot there the led light is uh, energy saving but quite bright at the same time for the interior light so that's a very clever touch and that's a triple layer acoustic uh, windscreen so uh, again, Toyota thinking about sound deadening, even with the windscreen. So really, really clever design. There's the extra airbags that I was trying to find earlier up there. Let's have a quick look then at the, uh, the engine bay. One litre VVTi, certainly a very zippy engine. People think that maybe the 1.3 is the pick of the bunch. But to be honest, having owned both, I don't really think there's much in it between the three cylinder one litre and the 1.33 I think you just pay more in fuel you pay more in road tax I think as well I just don't think it's worth the extra money in my honest opinion and um, but some people do prefer to have that 1.3 engine I think it's just personal preference I don't really see the point point. Um, Varta battery premium branded battery which uh, has been replaced not too long ago I don't think and that's it shall we start it up just so you can see that it starts fine you just touch your finger on there then that'll lock and unlock the car Ideal for those ladies who have the keys in their handbag at the bottom of the handbag. You haven't got to get the key out. You can just walk up to it, slide your hand in. The car will detect the fact that your key is in your handbag and it'll just open and close. You've got a start button. So you just press that. It'll fire it up. It'll fire up first time. And uh, the mileage is 46,986. Let's just uh, turn the radio up, down change the source which is clever medium wave fm there's no cd player or auxiliary plugged in at the moment auxiliary is just down here auto lights auto wipers 
give it a little rev just so you can see that it revs absolutely fine just turn the traction off turn the traction control back on again um, so yeah everything works as it should one touch on the window there one touch to bring it back up mirrors folds there you go really really good love this little car very unique shame they don't make them anymore but it does mean that these used examples are becoming more desirable and they are actually rising in value can you believe so not bad little investment um what else to say we do offer nationwide delivery and a part exchange and finance with rates starting from just 9.9 percent apr uh, credit score dependent at the time of shooting the video you can actually apply edit and view your finance options on the small cars direct website click on the iq scroll down and you'll see the motonovo finance calculators down there uh, next day nationwide delivery available in some instances and uh, you can reserve it from as little as 100 pound any questions please do get in touch please consider liking and subscribing to this video and the channel and hopefully i'll be hearing from some of you soon